Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing the most anticipated comics for October for Marvel Comics, the solicits. Now, the title of this uh, this video is about Runaways. Is it canceled? So I want to discuss that topic first because, well, the book is not in the solicits, so I wanted to discuss that. Last month, I was like, okay, me, it's a hiccup. There, you know, sometimes especially with COVID and all that. Uh, there was a delay with Runaways, but then you have issue 100. It is a good place to end it. Uh, so I'm curious to see if this is going to be like a Miss Marvel or Spider-Gwen where they try retooling it to be a miniseries because we've seen that with Spider-Gwen a lot. We saw that with the, the Venom versus, oh, I should say Gwenom versus Carnage event. Uh, we're seeing that with Miss Marvel now where it's a, a five-issue miniseries. Does young adult books at Marvel work better as miniseries? Maybe Runaways could be a graphic novel of some sort. Or maybe it's canceled, you know? I, I don't know if we're going to get a full answer until that issue 100 saying, oh, where, where can you find the characters next? If we can find the characters next at all. Uh, you know, I hope it's not canceled. I hope there is a future for Runaways. I think it's such an important franchise. It is the book I look forward to the most every month. So, fingers crossed. Now, going into the actual books that are solicited, let's jump in. Venom issue one. I am really excited for this book. I, you know, I'm on and off with Venom usually, but I love the idea of the Immortal Hulk, you know, I guess the, at least the writers taking over Venom and Ron V joining this as well. And, you know, having hopefully an Immortal Hulk type scenario for Venom, because like, what do you do with Venom after such a, a big run like uh, like a moral, uh, like um, Donny Cates, and then what do you do with Al Ewing after such a big run like a mortal, Hul a mortal Hulk? So it's kind of cool to see them, just you know, reverse reverse creative teams there. Moving on to Amazing Spider Man issue seventy five, some teases here for sure. Is Spider Man gonna die? We do know that Ben Riley is taking over the mantle. There's some ominous teases here. Uh, but also, it looks like there's going to be some groundingness. It looks like, uh, you know, uh, the Daughters of the Dragon are going to be an issue. I, you know, one of the big concerns I have, though, is that there's three issues a month now. But at least it is different creative teams on each issue. So hopefully it doesn't feel uh, the quality going down a bit just because there's so much quantity. But we'll, we'll have to see. I do think there is such a thing as too much Spider-Man. And this is coming from a very big Spider-Man fan. Moving on to Dark Ages issue two. I don't know how to feel about this event. It has been a bit delayed. It's been about a year, but I also am such a big fan of Tom Taylor. And it looks like he's he's playing with a lot of the, the toys he's played with before. Wolverine, Spider-Man. I, I love his Laura run. So I want to see him definitely write Laura again and hopefully Gabby as well, because it's been a while since we've seen Gabby and how this is going to relate to the main universe, if at all. Next up is Inferno issue two. You know, I, I'm also curious if this is the end of Hickman's X-Men legacy. Emma Frost is playing a big part in this cover. I'm all for Emma. So I, I want to see my girl. Uh, so I'm, I'm ready for an Emma Frost Inferno issue. Uh, next up is Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit. You know, a book I'm just really curious to see what direction they're going to end up taking for it. There's Bollywood drama. Uh, and it, it looks like they're definitely playing a, a bit more of a slice of life uh, route with Ms. Marvel, which I definitely don't mind. Uh, it's the same artist as Runaways, which is always a positive. I, I love and Andres' artwork. Uh, so very, very excited for Ms. Marvel. Next up is Marauders, issue 25. The X-Men are in space, or at least the Marauders are in space. And Emma, you know, I don't know if she's handling it very well. I love that cover with the her punching and, and her diamond uh, rings there. Uh, love I love Emma. Seems like Emma's gonna have a great October for for Marvel. Uh, then after that, Spider Woman issue sixteen. They're really teasing the the family aspect of the of the book, which is definitely uh, a part I really enjoy. There's someone who's never been in costume. I'm guessing that's part of the family that's gonna be in costume. I don't know if it's Jerry because he's kind of young. I'm guessing it's gonna be the niece. So uh, hopefully we get to see her again. We know that she's kind of related to all these power stuff as well. We haven't seen her in a while. We did see the brother as a cliffhanger in the most recent issue. So very excited to see them explore more of the family drama. And then after that is Captain Marvel issue 33. We get to see a Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel team up. I never say no to that. I adore their relationship and I want to see it expanded even more. Uh, so to see them tackle that again, always for that. Uh, and then Fantastic Four, she 37. Uh, we get to see the, the Grimm family 
spend Halloween, so, you know, right in time for October. Uh, but also the Fantastic Four's teaming up with Spider-Man. And I adore that team up as well. Hopefully we get to see some Human Torch in Spider-Man. I think those are some of the best panels uh, for both characters and both franchises. And last but not least, we have Daredevil. And this one's going to be Bullseye versus Elektra, you know. Uh, a versus match in in the making here. We 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 know that they have a lot of history. Now that Electra's Daredevil, will that change anything? Uh, really excited to see this side of the story, and I love how they've been sharing Electra and Daredevil story for the main title. I think it's been one of the best parts of Daredevil. So those are the books I'm most looking forward to for Marvel. Let me know in the comments below. What are you looking forward to? This is Comic You Know. Definitely follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Go check out my comics like Father, Like, Daughter, and They Call Her Dancer and for free on Webtoon is Slice of Life. And every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time is Comic Book Weekly where we discuss our favorite comics and comic book news. Thanks, guys.